China's flying vehicle just changed the future of travel. And I'm not talking about some concept that might exist in 20 years. I'm talking about certified, commercial flying machines that are carrying real passengers right now. Over the next few minutes, you're going to see five vehicles that will completely rewrite how you think about transportation. But we need to start with number five, because what this machine can do will blow your mind. Southeast University, Kunpeng No. One, picture this. You're driving down the highway in what looks like a normal car. Traffic ahead? No problem. You press a button. Four massive rotors deploy from the body. And you lift straight up into the sky. This is the Southeast University Kunpeng No. 1, and it's China's first true flying car. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've heard about flying cars before, but here's the difference. Every other company tried to make a drone that could drive. China did the opposite. They built an actual car that can fly. This thing has full steering, all-wheel drive. It rolls on real wheels, like a vehicle you'd take to the grocery store. But integrated into its body, are four coaxial rotors that fold out when you need them. The specs, 500 kilograms of takeoff weight. It'll cruise at 60 kilometers per hour on the ground, then lift you 300 meters into the air. Right now, it stays up for 20 minutes. But here's where it gets crazy. The engineering team at Southeast University isn't stopping there. They're working on the next generation right now, and they're promising over two hours of flight time. Two hours. That's not a short hop over traffic. That's flying to another city, landing, driving to your meeting, flying home. This vehicle uses distributed electric drive technology, which means the power flows intelligently between the wheels and the rotors depending on what you need. It's not adapting drone technology to work on roads. It's actual automotive engineering that learned to fly. Unveiled in January 2025, the Kunpeng No. 1 solved the problem that's been killing flying car companies for decades. How do you make something that's genuinely good at both? You start with the car, not the aircraft. When those rotors deploy and you rise off the pavement, you're not in some fragile experimental craft. You're in a machine designed by people who understand vehicles. People who know what it takes to handle real road conditions, real weather, real daily use. But as impressive as the Kunpeng is, it's designed for short flights. What if you wanted to go further? What if you wanted to skip the roads entirely and fly between cities? That's where number four comes in. Auto Flight Prosperity One. September 2024. Shenzhen, China. A flying vehicle lifts off vertically from the ground, hovers for a moment, then tilts forward and accelerates like a plane. Destination? Zhuhai, a completely different city. This wasn't a test flight with engineers on board. This was a demonstration that changed everything. Because the Auto Flight Prosperity One just became the first eVTOL in the world to complete an intercity passenger flight. Think about what that means for a second. Not flying across town, flying between cities. The Prosperity One uses what's called a lift and cruise configuration. You've got rotors that point up for takeoff, then the whole aircraft tilts, and you're flying forward like a traditional plane. It's the best of both worlds. The convenience of a helicopter, the efficiency of an airplane. In March 2024, this machine received its type certificate from China's Civil Aviation Administration. That's not just a pat on the back. That's the government saying, yes, this is safe. Yes, this works. Yes. You can build these, but getting certified is one thing. Actually proving you can fly a hundred kilometers between major cities, that's what separates the dreamers from the engineers. The Prosperity One has tilt rotor technology that transitions smoothly from vertical hover to horizontal cruise. No jerky movements, no complicated maneuvers, just a clean, efficient shift that lets you cover serious distance. And here's what makes this vehicle so important. It didn't just prove the technology works, it proved that eVTOLs can actually replace short-haul flights. You know those 45-minute flights where you spend three hours at the airport? Gone. You walk up to a Prosperity One, lift off, land in the next city, done. No security lines, no boarding gates, no waiting for your luggage. 
Autoflight took the concept of urban air mobility and said, why stop at urban? This vehicle opened up the possibility of regional air travel, of completely bypassing highways and airports for trips under 200 kilometers. But here's the thing about the Prosperity One. It's practical. It's efficient. It's revolutionary in its capability. But let's be honest. It looks like an aircraft. It feels like stepping into a small plane. What if you wanted something that made you feel like you were in the future? Something that turned heads and stopped traffic just sitting on the ground? Number three is about to show you what that looks like. X-Pang Aerohot X2. Imagine a vehicle that looks like it flew straight out of Blade Runner. Sleek, futuristic, so impossibly cool that crowds gather just to watch it sit there. That's the X-Pang Aero HT X2. This isn't some boxy utility aircraft. This is the sports car of the sky. Carbon fiber body, gull wing doors that open upward like a supercar, a fully enclosed cockpit with two seats side by side, and eight propellers arranged in a quad rotor configuration that hum to life like something from a sci-fi movie. When those gull wing doors swing open and you slide into the cockpit, you're not getting into transportation, you're getting into an experience. The X2 hits a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. It'll fly for 25 minutes covering 35 kilometers. The whole thing weighs just 560 kilograms, which means it moves with an agility that bigger EV tolls can't match. But here's what makes the X2 special. Xpeng gave you a choice. You can fly it manually. Feel the controls in your hands. Bank and turn like you're piloting your own personal aircraft. Or you can flip it to autonomous mode and let the computer do everything while you sit back and enjoy the view. This vehicle has completed thousands of test flights. Thousands. Xpeng didn't just build something that looks amazing. They built something that works. Something that's been proven over and over in real-world conditions. And they've shown it off everywhere. Demo flights across China, Dubai, Europe. Every time it lifts off, people stop and stare. Because watching the X-2 rise into the air isn't like watching a helicopter or a drone. It's like watching the future arrive right in front of you. Those gull-wing doors closing, the propellers spinning up, the vehicle rising smoothly off the ground with that distinctive electric whine. It's pure theater, pure excitement. Xpeng understood something that other companies missed. Yes, flying vehicles need to be safe and practical but they also need to inspire. They need to make people dream. They need to make you feel something when you see them. The X2 does that every single time. But as incredible as the X2 is, Xpeng was just getting started. Because while they were perfecting this flying sports car, they were working on something even more ambitious. Something that would make people question everything they thought they knew about how flying vehicles should work. And that brings us to number two, Xpeng Land Aircraft Carrier. Picture a large six-wheeled SUV driving down the street. Looks normal, right? Just another electric vehicle. But then it stops. The rear trunk opens and a fully functional aircraft unfolds itself from the back and lifts into the sky. Wait. What? This is the Xpeng Land Aircraft Carrier. And it's the most insane design in the entire flying vehicle industry. Because Xpeng looked at the flying car problem and said, everyone's doing this wrong. They weren't trying to make one vehicle that does both. They made two vehicles that work together. Let me explain how this works. Because it sounds impossible. The mothership is a three axle extended SUV five and a half meters long, rugged, powerful. But here's the genius part. It's a range extended electric vehicle that can drive a thousand kilometers on a single charge. And that massive battery isn't just for driving, it's for recharging the aircraft six times. The flying module lives in the back, folded up, compact. You can see it through the semi-transparent trunk door. It's just sitting there waiting. And when you need it, automatic separation. The trunk opens, six arms extend, propellers unfold, and this thing becomes a fully independent aircraft right before your eyes. 
two passengers, panoramic cockpit, six propellers that can tilt from vertical to horizontal. That's breakthrough technology, by the way. Most eVTOLs can only hover in place. This thing transitions to forward flight like a traditional aircraft, which means speed, which means range, which means you can actually go somewhere. And here's where it gets even crazier. You can fly it manually or let it fly itself. Autonomous separation, autonomous flight, autonomous reconnection. The whole system is designed so you don't need to be a pilot. You just need to press a button. Think about what this solves. Every other flying vehicle has the same problem. Where do you charge it? Where do you store it? How do you use it for a real trip when the battery only lasts 20 minutes? X-Ping's answer? The mothership is the charger. The mothership is the storage. The mothership drives you to wherever you need to deploy the aircraft. You fly over the obstacle, land, dock back in, keep driving. It's a completely different way of thinking about personal air travel. But x didn't stop there. They're already working on the X-5, a long-range version designed for inner-city travel. Production starts within five years, and they're building a factory in Guangzhou that'll pump out 10,000 units per year. 10,000. The price? Under $280,000. And people are already buying them. Over 6,000 orders. These aren't tire kickers. These aren't people putting down refundable deposits. These are customers ready to take delivery starting in 2026. But as revolutionary as the land aircraft carrier is, it's still a vehicle you need to own. You need to buy it, park it, maintain it. What if you didn't want to own a flying vehicle? What if you just wanted to use one? Like calling an Uber, but instead of a car, it's an aircraft. That's not a hypothetical question anymore. Because number one already exists. It's already certified. And it's already flying paying passengers. Right now. Hey Shown. E Hang. A216 Cef. October 13th, 2023. The Civil Aviation Administration of China makes an announcement that changes aviation history forever. They've just issued the world's first type certificate for a passenger carrying autonomous EV tall. Not a prototype. Not a concept. A certified, production ready, commercially approved flying taxi. The vehicle? The Ehang EH 216S. April 2024. World's first production certificate. Mass production approved. December 2024. First commercial passenger flights begin. Real customers. Real tickets. No pilot. Three world firsts. 13 months. Here's what you're looking at. 16 propellers on eight arms, radiating from a carbon fiber cabin. Two gull wing doors. Panoramic windshield. Two seats. And no pilot seat. Because there is no pilot. 100 kilometers per hour cruise. 130 max. 35 kilometer range, 21 minutes flight time, 3,000 meters altitude, $330,000 in China, 410,000 internationally. But here's what makes this machine absolutely revolutionary. 16 independent propellers means 16 independent motors. Several can fail and you're still flying. The redundancy is built into everything. Over 2,000 passenger test flights. 70 km per hour winds, heavy fog with 50 meter visibility, every extreme they could find. And it kept flying. The AI pulls data from accelerometers, gyroscopes, GPS, radar, visual sensors, and makes thousands of micro adjustments every second. Ground control monitors every flight, but there's more. The EH-216F fights fires, carries 150 liters of suppression agent, reaches high-rises trucks can't touch. The EH-216L delivers cargo to places roads don't go. Over 10,000 units on order. This isn't a boutique product. This is an industry. Because Ehang didn't just build a flying vehicle. They proved the entire concept works. They proved autonomous passenger eVTOLs are safe, practical, commercially viable. The US is targeting 2028 for commercial operations. 
Europe is finalizing regulations. But China? Already there.